I'm these building in that have already you saw guy from the UK, you know, how we work cattle in Nebraska. Yeah. Right? There's a pretty big audience here watching Tom, so he's a little bit nervous. Change the industry. Change the industry. Holy moly. Do you want to pull the baby who's coming? It has just gone 20 past 3 in the morning, and we are off <laughs> to Canada. The ginger guy gave me a lift. He is a, I don't want to shine a light on his face, but we are off. Manchester, Terminal 2. There she is, the first plane of the day. We have a little bit of an issue this morning, but it's been resolved. Had an absolutely result. Piece of it came up again, and I had to uh, go to the desk. I think that is the boat we're on. It's big. I am number 51. Very nice airport Brussels of what I did just see a bit. Funny, isn't it? So it's like a calf building. You know, they have the air tunnels. So we're looking out of one of ours in a design for our building. Same thing in a tunnel for humans. So I have arrived and we're actually staying at the airport, which is exciting, and then driving an hour in. So I've seen the first big pickup truck there. I mean, wow, it's huge. And there's like some really big ones outside the uh, airport, but so I set off at half two this morning, four hours sleep. The day before I had four hours sleep because I was editing for Chopping Maze. We chopped a maze yesterday. Oh my God, I'm tired. My head is banging. So I just said to the guys, I'm just going to go to bed for a bit. Uh, look at this, it's nice, isn't it? Oh uh, yeah, just go have a sleep because I'm, I'm, I'm I'm really tired. I have slept in the plane, pretty much every single plane. Right, go to bed. I'll see you guys in a bit. So we're having a little bit of a look around the houses. Oh, wow. Look at this house. We're having a bit of a tour around. And that is made from an old grain bin. How cool was that? We're going down a proper Canadian street. I've been bullied by Erin to uh, come into a thrift store. So a thrift store is like a second hand shop or like a charity shop for home. And uh, I've got something. Erin said, if you come to a thrift store, you need to grab something. So I've got a t-shirt that says hi, double hi, like hi, again on. And what we also have is, I'm not trading this, look. It's a, a, Canadian, a, Cana cowboy a Canadian cowboy hat, apparently. More of a Canadian police officer hat, we were saying. Ranger hat. Ranger. Ranger, Ranger hat, yeah. So yeah. Look good at that. <laughs> Thank you. So yeah, we're gonna go home with t-shirt. Thank you, Erin. Yeah, oh, you're welcome. You might just have also gotten a case of headlights, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have a look at, what's it called? Cowbellas? Cabellas. Cabellas. So we're gonna have a look at Cowbellas. The world's foremost outfitter is what they claim to be. I think this is gonna be a lot of hunting things. Yeah, uh -huh. it is. Tom on tour. Grand entrance as well, look at this. Oh, wow. Everything Holy you know. moly, this is big. That's what she said. Well. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta look up in here. Yeah, wow. Like, it, it just goes on forever, doesn't it? So Aaron is mad for flannel. flannel. Like this guy, obviously. Wearing black today, slimming. So we've got bow and arrows here. That's a big thing in America. So these are the baby ones. Yeah. Baby bows. Kids. Those are baby ones. Baby yeah. bows, and these are the big ones. Oh, wow. There you go, there's your, there's your target practice. There they are. And then there is the gun library, you can't see. It. We're gonna have a look at that in a minute. Gun library. <laughs> this is this nice fontoir. I think that is genuinely a real polar bear. Mad. So we have a uh, decoy Canadian goose. We, I was like, that is expensive, but it's a six pack. Six pack. So okay. it's like a it's like a beer. Do the math. Yeah, it's like a beer in geese. Well, they are pretty special. Yeah. We say, wasn't it a velvet a velvet neck on it as well? Yes. Wow. Oh, God. <laughs> this one needs a veterinarian. <laughs> oh, by the way, Ben and Erin are both veterinarians. They have a TV program on Disney Plus. Season five comes out on the seventh of October. Oh wow! So we're uh, we're all trying flannel. We call it checked, but flannel jumpers on. This is mine. Ben's got his. Erin has got hers. And then I'm going to try this one on. See if, oh, we tried the large and the large is too big. Yes, come on, okay, it could I'm be Canadian. Medium. You, you medium. You fit the medium. We, we could swap. <laughs> so Erin is six foot three. She's played basketball. 
and then uh, Ben is six foot five. I'm my short five ten. Do you know what I mean? Making like a midget. Maze or corn. That is where our zero turn mowers will be manufactured and assembled and shipped out. The plant you'll see. We're going to be doing a tour today, but. The front there, the offices, the lasers to your left, the warehouses to your right, assemblies on the back side, along Holy with powder. Morning. Look at all in there. Um, they're laying. Hello. Hello. Morning. Good. Uh, What's your Tom name? Tom Pimpton. Oh. Oh, thank you very much. There you go. Thank you. Good yeah. to see you again. Oh, oh thank you very much. Yeah, thank Cheers. You. Breakfast. I have had apple strudels I'll start with. Go. Cool. I'll then choose what we're doing in a minute. Let me. Good morning everyone, if you haven't already don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell to get notifications of my videos every Tuesday, Friday and sometimes we do the Sunday video. You can see I am not at home, I travelled about 18 hours and we are in Canada, we are in a place called Winnipeg and obviously we're at Araquip. Araquip is the crust that we bought I think like two years ago now, still haven't told you the story of how I broke it, I did tell one of the guys here. He did laugh at me and called me an absolute idiot, which is very deserved. So what they've got today is at 12 o'clock, they have an unveiling of something that is a new product, which is very, very cool. They invited me to come down and I was like, when do you get the opportunity to go to Canada and have a look around? So we've been chatting, you were just in, we've chatting to Ben and Aaron. There's a couple of other American Canadian YouTubers, which is super cool. So I'll see those as well. But in about 10 minutes, we're gonna sit down. I think we've got about a two hour chat and then we have a look at everything. Oh. We do as well, so we can actually work some cows as well, and it'd be really, really interesting all the stuff we do. So, guy called Chad Doss here. Um, in the last video, you had a lot of people who commented and say that he commented about me. Very, very cool. And he has uh, one of these things at his place. So it's a ring feeder, but with a little bit of a difference. We'll probably see it properly later. I've got a name tag, just in case we forget who I am. Tom Pemberton. So I've got my Converse, but I do have new work boots. So I'll see how that works. See that ring feeder there? So that's the original ring feeder, that's the new ring feeder. It's like holds it from the bottom. It's very cool. So very, very exciting. We're with Erin and Ben again. They're like my best friends. I'm just third wheeling the whole time. Um, but the time it has started. Very exciting. So, so exciting. exciting. Ben was right, it's like a car. Yeah. You know, the first release of a car, we are here. It's meant to be groundbreaking. That's that what it feels like. like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's meant to be groundbreaking, Cole was saying, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Change the industry. Change, Change the industry. The industry. <laughs> Holy moly. We've got 45 Only seconds. Moly. See, I'm gonna, I'm snapping. You've, right you've, you've nailed it. <laughs> Again. Cows won't know what hit them. Yeah. <laughs> Touche. The cows, cows have never been comfier in their life. <laughs> Chad Goss. Flat out passion for the beef industry. The passion to keep improving. You, you build one shoot, you make another model, and if you go out and work it, you never fail to see flaws in the design and to be aware of the struggles that the ranchers have. We wanted to be able to come up with designs to help them out. Agriculture is the backbone of the world. We need an army of manufacturers that are passionate about improving ranching to get behind this and, and create a movement. Ranching's been at the bottom of the pile too long. We want people to come to the table with just as competitive innovation as us. Stop coming out with the same shit. Here we go. Proud to introduce the Arrow Lock Manual Shoe. We want to stay true to our vision, inspiring tomorrow's rancher by solving problems today. And our promise to you is we'll never stop working on solving problems. New arrow lock sets a standard for strength and control. The days of large bulls being held insecurely are behind you. The arrow lock 8800 in particular offers three distinct new settings catering to cows, calves and bulls. So I'll catch the tire and you can see I've caught it pretty good. I have a hard time pulling that tire out. So we'll release the tire, we'll put it in the cow setting. So you can see how my power curve is starting to go up. What's different with this chute? It's two inches wider, two inches taller, nine inches longer, and 500 pounds heavier. Frame, it's been tweaked, re-engineered, improved. All the connections and all the joints are better. It's mental how quiet it is. Well, we were just talking, we don't grease ours. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't grease mine either. It's never seen an ounce of grease. But it's all the nylon fittings and everything. Everything's just smooth. An inch and a half. 
to get up to speed to hammer into that too. Um, angle iron here was smiling about a half inch up on each side because we were putting so much force into it. So we smacked it 140,000 times just to see it was strong enough. Wonder race. Like, look at this. I love its design. I think it'd be a little bit overkill for us. To be fair, we make it work. We could probably do with a, a race system that's portable and light. They're going to take this apart in a bit so we can see how heavy it is. Apparently it has gone lighter, they were heavy. 40 balls in there, whiz it through, and then that, like that. Like that. Go from you need there, you don't have to go in. Oh. The dream, and obviously we're like small scale of 140, there's people, 3,000 here. This is a, no, this is a really good idea. So I don't think I'll be able to break that. Um, I, I did tell Brody, and I might tell you guys one day what actually happened when I broke it. I, I'm an it's idiot, good, aren't I? It, it's a good story. <laughs> it's a, it's good, a good story. Story. But yeah, so this is a good idea. So they won't bend. So the doors are like really freely moving. And look at that. Obviously, even with that out, there's no movement. So quiet. It's unreal. I've said it before in a couple of other videos. You don't realize how quiet it is until you go into a steel one again. You go back into a steel one, then you jump into this. It's mad. And our vets love this when we move in like cow or a TV in or something. It just works really well. So, this offends me a bit. Look, look at that bit. Why don't you wrap bales here? They're all open. It's mad. On the straw. So just had some lunch. It was very nice and full. Now we think we're going to the factory tour, but Erin has convinced us this is where we're going to go and die. <laughs> <laughs> She's got this really bad theory that we're just gonna get abducted somewhere. Hopefully not, fingers crossed. So if you don't see anything, you know where our last was. Oh, those we're gonna go for a little bit of a tour on how everything is made. These pig pens is how you start. You started here, didn't you? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we started over in a little 10 by 10 foot office <laughs> so what we're going into next is a set of mowers i think they're called three standing mowers so you've got a stood up one you've got loads of attachments you've got a snow blower on one you can take that off put another blower on and you can sit down it's called the yak yaktar the yakta and um, very exciting uh, this is erin describing it. she says it's very nice on her touche her words not mine and then you can see so there's less than 12 months this is what they started on and now they're in production absolutely incredible how quickly this works Very chilled. Ben said, do you want to see how it's done? <laughs> Here he is. Yeah, do you don't want that one let, me, let me show this guy from the UK, you know, how we work cattle in Nebraska, yeah. right? In the Americas. <laughs> pressure is on. All right. And you know what you know what they say? Let me see. Okay, Diamonds yeah. are formed under pressure. I mean, are you a diamond? Are you gonna mush? So. Oh yeah, there we go. The, ex I, I'm the excuses have already gone. Already. Yeah, it's like oh the height height difference. This is the first I've seen a this bar. This is nice. <laughs> And then do this. Yeah. Measure. Cut your tag. Run your oh, implant. Yeah, you gotta run your implant. The implant, yep, we don't have nose, that in the UK. Up the nose. Up the nose? The nose. What are you doing up the nose? Vaccines. Ah. I don't know if you know about those in the UK either. <laughs> okay, that's enough stuff. So yeah, we shave, we shave six, six, oh, okay. lumps at the back. Is that, is that a good enough window for you to do that? Yeah, yeah, that's bang on that. Alright, make sure we get those hydraulics over in the UK. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I always do this, I always open the head gate first, and then left. Right, okay, slows him, just slows him down a little bit. Right, right, do you want me to show you how a rookie does it? Yeah, I would love to see that. You can say I'm not a professional. I'm sure that's what you got. Aaron, you might have to help him out. I am really good at the high. manual. I'm so good at the manual. I'm always, a, there's a pretty big audience here watching Tom, so he's a little bit nervous. <laughs> you got this. Diamonds are formed under pressure. That's right. Or coal. Diamonds. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Rule number one, never leave the head gate open. Oh, nice, squeeze. More. Oh. Now, now neck extend. You can't get that TV done yet. You gotta pull it out there. There you go. Seven, eight, lumps at the back. 
jab, jab, yes, go. Right, now we need to figure out how we're doing this. Yeah. Head gate. TB negative. Get, get on that head gate, you might miss. Nice. Please. Come on. Hey, I'm just from I had no confidence. From I was experience. Just from experience. This one's got a little more gas. Yeah, you won't hurt her. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm a bit soft with my cows. Mm -hmm. okay. right, yeah, open this one first. Head gate. Yeah. Nice. Absolutely. Yeah, no, 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 no. Okay, yeah, yeah. Show me how it's done, Tom. You're gonna miss. that to all mine at home. Oh, the softest stink. Okay. We all like it. Those redheads. What are we set on right now? Cow. I, I saw that. I think it's got a little tooth problem. Mm -hmm. Right here. Feel that bump? Yeah. So this is something I was really interested in. I know it was all about like crushes or shoots as they call it in America, but this is with the uh, holding pen at the back that tied in really, really nice. This is Alex trying to do an example of it. And look how neat it is around here. So simple, so easy. And you can hold four gates, two gates either side on each section, which I thought was really, really cool as well. It's something that we probably should look at a little bit, where we get by by just tying some gates together with a little bit of bailing string. So after we've all smashed the cattle handling, we're actually going to go see the factory and how everything is made, which is cool. So these are like the laser cutters we've been to, and they're massive. <laughs> the biggest in North America, apparently. Instead of the welder having to measure or use a jig, this locates it in the right spot, and then he can weld it in the right place. All the parts, so you see that, the part that that goes into will be the opposite of that, so it all goes in and they can weld it all back together, so everything works in, you see that there, and then see that little groove there, so everything will like go into each other, and they think about the next one. Smoothness of these welds, you should see what holding my GoPro together, my weld is horrific. So I know you can't hear a lot, because it's super loud. We even had to have uh, mics in, earphones. They do everything, powder coat. They do it all manually, but they've just put an automate, automated system in as well, so they're running two at once. They can make, assemble about 17, but they can make about 25 crushes a day. A day, and they run five or six days a week, I think. That's mad, isn't it? So 125 a week, that's on a five day week. Crazy, but yeah, and it's on top of everything else they do. They had an absolutely huge crush at the end, like to the point where it was on a ball hitch, and like it would be so, it'd be definitely illegal in the UK. Look at the size of the grain So my flight got delayed from Winnipeg by 74, 45 minutes, five minutes, and the flight should be setting off. What do you reckon the chances are that they're waiting for us? There's about 22 people that are on Winnipeg going to London. We're about to find out. Here's the other side. Oh, for God's sake. And did we catch the plane in time? We had five minutes. Yes, just, it was unreal and absolute epic catastrophic mind numbingness so what happened is just a quick one i did a full story on my instagram and my snapchat i don't know if my snapchat's public someone let me know about that i think you've got to follow me to view my story i don't know someone can let me know. that'd be great what happened is joanna thought the baby was coming 
Yes, I know. There was a moment I was on the plane, I got back these text messages of like, going to the doctors, mum's gonna look after the dog, mum's coming with the doctors, nurse think baby's coming. Oh my God, then I was wrong. We thought baby was coming. I couldn't get the train back. It took me 36 hours to get back home. It, oh, it was unreal. But the event was absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much to Araquick for inviting me, for having us. It was great meeting Ben and Aaron. Obviously Ben and Aaron came a day early like I did and I kind of tagged along with those. Really, really nice people. We got Chad from Dos Farms and Ray. Gianna as well from the AgFit, AgriFit, AgriFit. A YouTube account, Alex Talbot, Cole from Cole's Farms, How Farms Work. It's really, really nice meeting these people. Obviously, you kind of spoken a little bit to them, but then kind of getting in that environment and that kind of frame of just chatting. It was, it was so good. We saw the new mowers. New mowers for me, it doesn't really do that much because if I have a plot of grass of an acre where I can use that mowing, I will put my mowers on and I'll make it into big bales or bonus bales, as we like to say it. But the shoots, as they call them, we call them a crush. Joanna hates it that we call it crush, so maybe I should start using the word shoot. The shoots are very cool. The hydraulic one, class T bean, the speed. Ours is fantastic. These things are so good, and to make it that little bit better for me, like I don't think they know what I am used to using, and probably every like 90% of farms are used to using, like tying stuff in, or baling string, or doing bits and just making stuff work. And obviously in the last three years, we've been able to kind of progress and push. Look at the shed we're in, cows are all eating. We just fed them a little bit more, made them eat last time. It's amazing that we got invited to this thing. Amazing to be able to see like part of the world. So only saw a little bit of kind of, a little bit like 0.1%. I'd love to go see the hills, go see a bear. I'd love to go see a bear, it'd be great. Um, but yeah, a fantastic event, had such good fun. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. Bit different, a lot of farming videos have happened, but this one was very current. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But it was um, a good one to publish now. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, get your TP merch. I actually, we got, actually do have new beanies. Uh, Tom Pem, Dash Farm Life, the new Korea is doing it, who's caught an asshole, caught an asshole. So we're going for DVD and get direct. We haven't got Ireland or international just yet, but we will come, we've got loads of time, and it's gonna get to you. You ordered it yesterday, it's gonna get to you two days after, because obviously packing and stuff. So yeah, 48 hours, that is not bad at all. Maybe a little bit longer on occasion, but it's definitely gonna be quicker than it was. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Oh, something very exciting happened. Something that you guys have been telling me to do, and I finally did it. And some of you know, some of you know, well, some of you know there's a change been made, because you've commented to me or DM'd me on the old Instagram Snapchat. Yeah, it's very, very cool. But anyway, you'll learn about that. We'll catch you in a bit. I'm gonna sort my life out. All oh, the bail's still here, but going very, very soon. See you in a bit.